Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Chats with Chase. Here's your next tip. You can see this is the same cue sketch block that we've been working with. Now imagine that, for some reason, we need each of these curves to be a separate part that we can add into a separate assembly. For example, this can be useful if you have a multi-body part that you need to be separate files for a bill of materials. First, we're going to need to extrude this sketch, so I'm going to click on the sketch once, and then come up here, and select Extruded Boss Base. Let's bring that out half an inch and accept it. You can see we now have three solid bodies, but it's all technically still one part, which isn't what we want. So coming up and searching in the command bar again, we're looking for the command named save bodies. When that command opens, you get these tags that let you know which body corresponds to which resulting body in the command. You can use these checkboxes to specify which of the existing bodies you want to keep. They should highlight over in the graphics window as you do. Double clicking on a name should bring up the save dialog, allowing you to choose a location and a name. I'm going to jump ahead to a point where I have all of these named based on their size. If I click on the browse button in the create assembly section, it'll let me choose a location and a name for an assembly that'll create. One of the best features of the save bodies command is that the files created are parametric, meaning if you come back to this original part and change a dimension after creating our separate assemblies, that change would propagate into those assemblies. When the screen flickers here, that just means it's creating those separate parts. It'll ask me to rebuild and save, which I'll do. After it's done processing that, I can pull up the open dialog and browse to the location where I put all of those files. Here you can see all of the separate part files, but let's go ahead and open up that assembly. The assembly should look just how the original part file did, except these are all now separate parts, not just solid bodies. Thanks for watching. Contact us with any questions and I'll see you tomorrow.